chemical or biological attack on a subway system could kill thousands of people. So the Department of Homeland Security, scientists from the national laboratories in other countries, as well as private industry, are studying what can be done to blunt the impact. 1995, sarin gas, a deadly nerve agent, is released in the Tokyo subway system by the cult Om Shinrikyo. Twelve die, thousands are injured. Horrific. But in theory, another biological or chemical attack could be much worse. This animation, given to CNN by the Department of Homeland Security, shows small black subway trains acting like pistons, pushing anthrax through tunnels and out ventilation shafts and entrances, exposing more than 10,000 people to lethal doses in an hour and a quarter. Scientists believe that early detection and stopping trains would result in something more like this, about 1,500 deaths. But they want to prove their theory. Well, this is basically the entire underground portion of the Boston system. An international team of scientists fans out through Boston subway to gather information on airflow. Five, four, three, two, one. They release an invisible, non-toxic gas to mimic a chemical agent. Harmless fluorescent particles play the part of a biological contaminant. Scientists then track how they move through the system. Some carry sensors on moving trains. It's way up. Other detection devices are at fixed points in stations. As the trains come in and out, it's pushing the air towards the inlet, and we're seeing increases and decreases as they go in and out. A computer compiles data in real time and shows the simulated biological agent moving through most of the subway within 45 minutes. If this was a real biological attack, it would be a very lethal dose. The information gathered here will help determine where to put sensors, how to develop better sensors, and how to use ventilation and filtration systems to minimize an attack. In some cases, it's better to shut the system down, shut the ventilation, and just rapidly evacuate the people. The deputy chief of the transit police says the study will also help him refine emergency response and evacuation plans for all kinds of events. It might be the unintentional release of a chemical agent. It could be the uh, hazmat spill or smoke from a fire. But the principal goal is to prevent or minimize something like this. Boston's MBTA is the oldest subway system in the country. The same experiments have already been run on Washington's Metro, one of the newest. And scientists believe data from these two sets of tests will help all transit systems better prepare for the frightening possibility of chemical or biological attack.